Hello and welcome to another TFHB draft. Today we are drafting our best ever German football 11s as it is the Euro 2024 on at the moment being played in Germany of course. We thought we'd go back for German football history and see what their best teams are. How is it going to work? Okay, we're going to go 4-3-3 in this. Yeah. Because uh, Germany don't have an abundance of wingers actually. So we're going to sort of tuck those forwards in. So three, three yeah. strikers I think we're going to go with. Um, three midfielders and four defenders and uh, whoever's first gets first pick and then second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, etc. I think Fantastic. it's quite an important um, order in which you're going to pick the team here. Okay. You ready? Okay. What paper is a shoot? <laughs> we should have run in tally of how yeah. many times as you want. Right, Beckenbauer's in. Yeah. Centre back. Obvious. Obvious. He's one of the Kaiser. Yeah. What a player he was. I think we said previously that when you make a, a best 11, it's rare that one of the first names on the team sheet is a centre back. But he's in there. And he uh, is. In any, any 11, yeah. he'd be in there. Absolutely. I'm going to take them. The other guy who I think is in short supply, but is incredibly important and one of the best players of for Germany of all time, Philip Lahm. Ah, oh, right back. He, that, he's usually my first yeah. pick, isn't he? Okay. Stick him in at right back. Again, you don't pick a right back all that often. Jeremy don't have an abundance of phenomenal right backs. No. He was class. You could play on the left. He really was too. so bloody good. Yeah. Oh, what a player. Yeah. Just 2006 World Cup, a few minutes into the first game, bangs in that cracker against Costa Rica. They captained him in 2014. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then they're going to take a striker, one of their best strikers of all time, Bayern Munich's best of all time, Gerd Müller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. All right, Muller's off. Yeah, you're fair too. enough. Right, let's put in midfield there, Lothar Mateus. Ah, uh, he's one of my favourites. Yeah, he's in. I've got him in two drafts now. Yeah, I really like him. He's one of my uh, favourites. Okay. A perfect holding midfielder. That's what you want in that way. Um, yes. Yeah, a class player. And I'm going to put, alongside him, Michael Ballack. Oh, Nice. A mm, bit more attacking, my yeah, I like Balak. Like, you know, what a player he was. I liked him. When I, I saw him play against Wales a couple of times at the old Millennium Stadium, um, he was amazing. He sort of sort of screaming from about thirty yards. He didn't look like he did much. He'd be like Messi, you know, yeah. doesn't really, doesn't really do much. Then all of a sudden, just bang, sprays a forty yard pass, bang, plays a, a gets an assist, smashes in the goal. What a player! It's class. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take then. A, oh, I don't want to go too defence heavy, but I think I need to just because there is less. We, we said yeah, short supply, yeah. So I'm gonna take uh, Bertie Vox. Vox. Where are you put? Where are you putting him? You want your left back? I think he's a right back. I'm gonna stick him. You could do it. You take it. Take it away. From no, but him. I'm gonna stick Lam on left. A left back. All right. Okay. Fair enough. And I'm gonna take Vox. Okay, so, yeah. Vots at right back. Sure. Lam switches to left back for me because he could do that. Yeah, right. just, he played the quite a lot. The versatility. Oh, that's an absolute killer, to be honest. Go yeah. on. And then I'm going to also take um, someone who I think is actually we're going to remember a lot greater than perhaps he's been considered now. He's leaving Real Madrid this summer. I'm going to take Tony Cruz and put him in the midfield. Yeah, yeah. He was on my list somewhere as well, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, right. Right, that's fine. Right, my strikers then. Julie got a really good list of strikers. I'll read some out. We got uh, Rudy Valla, Jürgen Klinsmann, Miroslav Klose, yeah. Thomas Muller, Dieter Muller, Uwe Zeyla, Fritz Walter. But I'm going to go with Karl Heinz ah, Rummenigge yeah, first on the list. because he was outstanding. Yeah, not just for Bayern but for the other clubs to play for as well. He won two Ballon d'Ors. Yeah. So, you know, he was the best player in the world for two years in the 80s. Yep. And he came second year after. So he's in. I'm still very heavily involved in, in Bayern Munich. He is, yeah. yeah. So he's in up top. And then I'm going to put in um, Joshua Kimmich at right back. Okay. Because he's brilliant. There's best left available as well. He's so. really good. Yeah, he is good. He is good. Yeah, I think that's a fair show. And he plays that inverted left back as well, right back now. Okay. Okay. Um, I want this guy, and I'm good. he was sort of an inside forward. Uh, 54, Miracle of Bern, West Germany win it against the odds. Fritz Walter, one of the key men in it. So he's going to go as one of my forwards. Okay. Uh, you sort of like Captain. A, yeah. 
you know, captain material for me here. Sort of inside forward, second striker, but that's fine. So we're playing three up front. You can drop that a little bit deeper <laughs> for me. That's absolutely fine. And then alongside him, do I complete the strikers now? No, I'm not going to complete. I'll come back to the strikers. Uh, I'm going to stick in then. I I think he's class, this guy. And I, I again, he maybe not remembered quite as strongly as, as some would, but Bastian Schweinsteiger. Oh, yeah. He was I on my him. list, mate. Yeah. Well. Bastian Schweinsteiger into the midfield three for me. Yes. Good pick. Right. I'm going to put in Matthias Sammer in my midfield um, as well. Okay. He did play defence too, yeah, but he. Yeah. he Originally, I think he was a defensive midfielder. I'm going to put him in defensive midfield, but Matej a bit further up. He was a 10. He did, he did wear a 10, at least. I'm going to put Balak as well. And then I'm going to put in goals. This is hard. Goals. There's three keepers yeah, here. Yeah, three. There's, There's Neuer, there, yeah. Kahn, and Ma uh, Meyer. Yeah, I've got them three as well. Yeah. I'm going to go with Neuer. Okay. I think... Class. He won a World Cup. Oliver Kahn didn't. Yeah. Meyer did, but Neuer's in. All right, um, I need to take a centre back. I'm going to go again modern, but someone who's been there for many, many years and has won the World Cup, Mats Hummels. Okay. Yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah I could have picked him just then as well. Um, and then I'm going to go with my other... Do I go other striker now? There's a couple in there. They have got a name. I'm going to go Uwe Sila. Yeah, yeah. Sealer and I'm going to stick him up front as well. So Muller, Sealer, and Fritz Volta. There's a bit of historic. Who is it? was the captain in '66 and '70 as well. So yeah, he's yeah. got a good record behind him. I think his goal score record in Bundesliga. We've got a lot of captain good. material. We got Lahm, well. we got Hummels, we got Walter, we got Sealer. Mm. It's nice. Right, I'm going to put it then up top with Rummenigge. I'm going to put in closer. Fair enough. I mean, all time World Cup goal scorer. So you can't miss. That. You can't miss him out. You can't not Sixteen that. Yeah. goals yeah. in the World Cup. Then you've, you've helped me out then, because Valter and Zeele have been picked. Uh, i got Klinsmann, Voller or Muller. Well, I'm going to go to do my left-back first. And I'm going to put in... Oh, it's even Breitner or Bremer. Yeah. Both scored in World Cup finals. Both scored penalties in World Cup finals. Yeah. I'm not sure he's better, you know. My, my head's saying Breitner. But is Bremer better? I got Brightner. I think, I think Brightner for seventy four. Yeah, and he was wasn't he in the the Bayern team as well? Yeah. Yeah, right. Brightner's in. Okay. Okay. I have got two left. No one left. Two left. I got two left. I need another centre back. This is really tough now because this is where we're, we're scraping the barrel. It's quite difficult centre backs, Germany. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for someone again. He uh, he played in sixty six, which they they didn't. Win obviously they were in the final. I go Karl Heinz Schnellinger. Possibly him. He's um, on the list somewhere. Yeah, he's on the list. I'm going to mm. go him, and I'm going to go him because, uh, like we said, there's not a huge amount of options. But he was quality, and you know he could have been a World Cup winner. Was that a goal? He was in the uh, the World Eleven, I think, when they played England yeah. in '63. Schnellinger is in. Okay. Is that your got any more picks to go? Uh, oh, let's have a look. Yeah, sorry. I think I've got one more. I've got a midfield pick and then I finish with a keeper, don't I, at yeah. the end. So I'm going to go with my midfield there. Um, and I've got Gunther Netzer. Oh, Gunther Netzer's in. oh, that's a really good pick. To complete the midfield. So that's like 60, 70, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, stunning. He's a really good player. A couple of World Cups in him. And I need a bit of old in that midfield because I've gone quite modern. Bit of old. Okay, right. I've got two picks left then. I've got a centre-back, <laughs> standard, and a centre forward. So let's see if Rudiger, I'm thinking he's been pretty good, isn't he, in recent years? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or is Wolfgang Weber, who scored in the 66 final? I think you could, you haven't gone all that modern. So I've got quite a up. few. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going <gonna, laughs> to only put in Wolfgang Go Weber, centre back. Bit of history in there. Yeah, and then up front. Oh, this is a really hard this choice. Is, this is hard. This is hard. I'm sure people on YouTube will be screaming Who at you their between? screens. Klinsman and Klinsman, and Voller Miller. and Muller. Because Voller was good too. Yeah, it was. Klinsman's got a really good World Cup goal scoring record across quite a few World Cups. Muller's been there for years, you know. I like Muller. 
year in, year out. But I feel like he's not really a striker anymore. He's kind of he's kind of a bit further deeper, isn't he? Oh, no, our clean men. Let's put in let's put in oh, let's put in Klinsman. Okay. Put him in. Why not? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's got a a, a couple more goals than Muller and World Cup record, so yeah. I'm gonna put him in. You can Klinsman's in. Klinsman. A bit of an interesting managerial career as well, isn't it? Klinsman's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, he's someone there as a potential manager for you if you've got an American accent. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think he managed South Korea from California. I don't think he <laughs> refused nice. to move to South Korea. Um Okay, and I'm going to go with my goalkeeper there, and this is why I could leave it, because there's two options. There's Carl. There's Lehman, if I wanted a madman. Weed on the pitch. Uh, but I'm going to go for Setmeyer. Setmeyer, <laughs> one of the best. Setmeyer, I'm missing out all of the card. Okay, interesting. I'm going Meyer. I, Meyer, I think for me, and when you when you look at, you know, when people talk about some of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, he's, he's in the conversation. He was in that team. For, 74. Yeah, mm. many a year. Um, and in the Bayern team could have got Bert Troutman as well for someone who's willing to Bert keep Troutman, going there we go with nice. a wobbly neck yeah fair play to him okay that's, that's, that was tough that was harder than we thought it was going to be I think this journey that was hard right the teams are obviously on the screen now you can have a look at them see which one you think is the best mm. I think this is quite close mm. off the top of my head um, I think you had a good couple of choices early on though um Comment down below, Ben or Gareth, whose team is better. And uh, like we said before, please like and subscribe. Let us know which nation or club you would like us to do a draft of next. And we'll make that so. And uh, if there's anything else? No, I think just make sure you check out our Twitter as well and keep the conversation going throughout the Euros. At TFHBS, you can follow that uh, by going to the description below. And uh, we'll see you again for the next one very soon.